and I'm doing it for my daughter. <laughs> well, when when do they roll out the advanced stuff? You, do you really feel that what you have access to is yeah. uh, remotely what they yep. are using? You yep. do, because there's no there's no <laughs> way there's no way to get the top people, the people that are paid yeah a uh, million to three million dollars a year, or whatever. There's no way to get them working that's not on a whatever the cutting edge like Nvidia pro uh, product is. Hmm. You think uh, three letter agencies gobble up all the IP and intellectual talent? No. No, no, it's it's the, it's the tech companies. Yeah, the three letter hmm. the three letter agencies have a, a great deal of influence over the tech companies. Obviously, they have they have access. To, you know, they can read your Facebook messages or whatever. But the people who are like um, intelligent, idealistic inventor type people, or people that are, are very clever inventor people that want money, they're at these they're at these companies working on. Just the projects that are getting the most resources thrown at them. There's no, there's no way to like, because of the talent pool, because of the, um, the it's just it's not it's not that's not the case that it's hidden that there's some hmm. that there's some better version of AI, that's that's hidden. There it's it's open competition between Google, OpenAI, all these these various companies. So they're they're giving wow. us uh, like a, a scratch pad to fuck around on, but that's their best go. You can you can watch the uh, the development of. Like the specifically the art AIs like Mid Journey and stuff, you can go on their Discord and and see them talking and having and like testing out the new beta versions and stuff. Hmm. Yeah. So that's oh, wow. You, what Chuck? You think there's hidden shit that they're, they're, they're behind? Well, certain... I, well, it's not that I think. I just assume. I assume that of uh, that really high high technology, just like everything else in this in history in this world has been taken from us. So I just assume that anything that they're playing fancy these days. Is just to play for time. Is just is just to burn the clock until there's some Im irreparable uh, catastrophe or irreparable campaign that comes to a, a conclusion that cannot be reversed. I mean, I just look at it. Uh, I don't know what word you want to use for that. The way I look at it, but I just assume they have super super advanced technology that's beyond even discussion. Almost. I th I think there are certain types of projects that are easy to conceal, like infrastructure kind of things, like underground roadways. Mm -hmm. That would be simple to conceal. You would have. I mean, you would just all you'd need to worry about. Is shutting up the people that, that worked on yeah. it through some means, but there's other projects like if you it's just I don't I, I I don't I think I lack the the clarity right now to describe it, but it's almost like a like F1 teams mm. Compu computer software is like F1 car development yeah and like month mm. like month to month week to week it's like you could have a you could have a losing car this week two weeks later you have the dominant car Your right fan car and it's it's because these things are they're being like the development of it is. I, I don't think that that's something that could be clandestine or could be hidden. Like if the CIA was tasked with creating a an F1 car that, according to the current rule book, beats the other F1 cars, I don't think it, they'd be able to come anywhere close. Hmm. I don't I don't I don't think you can hide that type of development. It's it's only because it's it's not necessarily that it's that it's software. I think when it comes to like cryptography. I think if you're if you're hiring like cryptography professors and mathematicians, you can kind of quarantine those people in an NSA building. You could you could definitely do that. I don't. I think with AI, it's so it's so young and it's so open. I don't think that you could do this kind of fast paced, bang up like slipshod, fat, messy development. I don't think I don't think it could be clandestine. Well, what, what about the V, Yo, um, like, like, qu like quantum daughter. computer and D-wave mm -hmm. uh, AI? Like it's it's like um, it's beyond it's beyond even the technology that people are talking about right now. Or maybe it's relegated to conspiracies. But, you know, uh, I mean, I, I try not to read deeply into these things because it's all wasted information like conspiracies. Like it just doesn't do you any good. But I remember I remember reading somewhere that the quantum computers, you you input questions and it gives you back answers, um, like like uh, like de like demon communication or something. And I let's I don't have the proper uh, term terminology for it, but because uh, I try not to think about it too much. But it just like I I feel that there is computing and technology so far beyond uh, what what's going on here. It like like technology to um, let's say language. Like if if these people. Whatever sort of creatures that are the wardens of this of this world, if if they're smart enough to create a prison um, through language itself and remove words and remove thoughts from our comprehension, it, then they're smart enough to do 
other crazy things. But anyway, with, with the D-Wave, uh, it just seems like we don't have access to things like that. And it seems advanced to a degree where it's uh, almost in like beyond comprehension. The, the quantum computing thing, is that's absolutely a type of project that you could, you could conceal. Because you'd be hiring... I mean, it's that they have. That's what that's what that's what's happened. They have done that. What is, D, is D Wave? D Wave is just one type of of quantum computer, but there's a bunch of different, uh, or it's a company that makes a quantum computer. It's sort of like a black. It's like a, a super super computer, like a little black cube that they keep in a zero degrees or something like that. They keep in like a really cold temperature, and allegedly they they go back and forth and they talk to entities on like DMT elves on the other side, essentially. <laughs> They're having lame conversations. Like what's like going this, on? Why don't you? <laughs> the scientists like why though god loves you go home to your ancestors like okay remember the dmt trips like people people like talking to the elves they're convincing people to kill themselves like this no nah, you're just in a shell it's a prison man you kill yourself and you're set free people kill themselves they get <laughs> the, the dark jester dmt elves on the other side getting you to kill yourself yeah you th but it's a dark jester at a fucking at a like a, f a music festival dressed like a jester mm -hmm. he's just dark jester his name's matt he's got joe rogan's dark jester tattoo <laughs> <laughs> he's playing the uh, Matt. He's got the sticks, the devil sticks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just kills himself. He sticks them right in his eyes, right up his nose, through his eyes. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's the way I feel about those computers. I think it's the 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 way this world is, and how history has worked, and, and the level of suffering in this world. It leads me to believe that it's uh, being captained by things that aren't exactly human. And that's that's just. I think they're talking to talking heads. They're they're talking to to, to like mummies and, and computers and things like that. I know it's far out, but it seems more plausible than um, than the history and the news that you read normally to me. They got Bill Mummy in there. They got Bill <laughs> Mummy and Delenn. <laughs> <laughs> Bill <laughs> Mummy. Uh, you guys ever read uh, any of uh, Robert Anton Wilson? Illuminati. Illuminati. Uh, the trilogy, Illuminati. Illuminati. Yeah. yeah. No. Only a little bit. What is the it? weird guy? Fernando Poe and, the, and the, the dolphins and Bavarian Illuminati. I mean, it's everything that you've been reading about for years in a book written 30 years ago or something like that. It's everything. What's the dolphin? Uh, I haven't gotten to that point yet. Probably Sly Stallone dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> That's right where it leads to. It's where Dan Marino dolphins Ace Ventura. <laughs> Nick, what's what's this? What's this one? Oh, this is fucking dude. Justin Trudeau just doesn't stop being weird to me. I'm I'm like upset. There's two people like I'm obsessed with like. Justin you mean Trudeau. Fidel Castro's son? Yeah, yeah, Fidel Castro's son, Justin Trudeau. Is he going like this in the video? Keep your eyes in his oh, hands. Oh, you tell me yeah. Your hands is, isn't he like, like doing like thick like? No, like, no, no, you'll see. You, your hands do this, right, guys? What's wrong with Justin Trudeau's hand? Is he doing like shadow puppets? He's throwing crypt signs. He's doing yeah. He's doing crypt. Oh, that's cool. But is that yeah. the? Is it does did he, does he require that to, to flip pancakes? That's just an, that's an autistic tick. Is it? Yeah, oh, it could cool. be. It could be signs. They're always doing signs, but that could also just be an autistic tick. People, I've seen people do like, like it weird. feels. It feels good to like make your joints go like Stressed. that. Like it's and, soothing. And you know it's comfortable because there's like it the the joints rest on each other, so you can do this, and it doesn't mean you're doing inverted pyramids mm -hmm. and and all this stuff. Like it's it's like comfortable for mm -hmm. the for the. The fingers. Keep your fingers stressed out like Andrew Tate. I mean, it literally is. I guess. I guess that's it's, his move. It is comfortable to do this. Yeah. It feels poignant. I think. Uh, what Don about this right here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not, no, my favorite is is this one. Fixing glasses that aren't there. That's oh, my favorite. God. <laughs> Fixing glasses. The old Orrin Hatch classic. That's my favorite. <laughs> like doing like like doing yeah. this. Fixing so, doing glasses that aren't there. He doesn't even have glasses on his head. He's still fixing them. I guess. Wow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this one. <laughs> Go, go like this. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of sick. And in, well, it's just like the, if there's people like that running around, then I, I think they're using better compute. I think they're using better GPUs than we have. That's all. I mean, I I, I would try like the uh, so to, I I like the idea of concealing projects. Some are, some aren't, and kind of breaking it down like that because it's not all like one pill to swallow as as opposed to like thinking thinking about like that's kind of is great. Uh, like flight. Did you ever hear that like UFOs aren't real? They're just like reflections of of things in the sky. It could be that. It could be military technology testing from years and years ago. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, it's not anything. There's no. Well, there's no, there's go no green goblins piloting. There's no. A, a there's ship. no. Wait. There's space. All right. All of a sudden, we'll aliens come down. I, I we, love if it. we make enough, you see, it, it sounds crazy, but if you make enough movies about an alien invasion, people will believe that there are aliens and that there will be an invasion. That's just how no, it works. No, no, right. That's how it works. And pe people don't get it. But, uh, I mean, that's why I almost, I mean, I, I don't mind talking about UFOs here, but I don't 
like I've always known there was no such thing as uh, as little gray men and aliens and and fly UFOs, flying saucers. They catch you. They're they're cutting you open. They're 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 aliens. You know, it's just, it, they're putting needles in your eyes. Like, it makes no sense to me. Space, for a trillion, a trillion years in one direction. It goes on for a trillion years. You could go on for a trillion years and not run into one single asteroid. <laughs> Going at the speed of light. <laughs> I was like, oh, really? Is that right? Aliens, they, they come down, they start shooting lasers. Are you kidding me, man? No, no. Like, like the, the invasion and the occupation and the conquering has already, has already happened before you were born. The, the invasion and the conquering has already been complete before your ancestors were born. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Billions of years yeah, ago. Yeah. So, I mean, it just keeps on happening. The, Trillion just years. Just how it works. <laughs> but, I mean, with I, you, oh, yeah, UFOs, it just, it's just so, it's so crazy that the stuff that people talk about. Like, knowing, enjoying what I've enjoyed, uh, at least with conspiracy-wise, it just, if, I guess, even if you're an, a, an average conspiracy guy, it, that, the stuff goes beyond regular science fiction from the 40s and the 50s now like it goes it's it goes beyond and it's still the same junk you fast forward a, however many years doesn't matter still flying saucers okay no not not f like faster than light or zero whatever the hell gra folding or gate stargates no no <laughs> <laughs> fucking flying saucers they got exhaust pipes <laughs> 70 years later <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, it's a joke. That's that's why I see everything as a joke. Like this. Well, computers can only get so fast. I was, I'm like, oh, really? You look at the circuit boards. It looks like demon sigils from freaking Solomon's the Bible or something like that. You're like this. Hmm. You know, it's all it's all goes beyond what most people really conceptualize because people don't look at it in a, in a spiritual sense or even perhaps a religious sense. And when it comes to keeping a secret, um, I mean, I know you you feel that it's it, it's probably maybe impossible to keep secrets. It's just, but when you have a system in place that, I mean, unless you're good at like torturing and I don't know, like uh, make go, I don't know, unless you're, unless you're good at that, it's, it, it's not easy to conceptualize what it takes to keep a secret. And I just think it's very, very easy if you, if, if there's a, if there's a cult, then it's very, very easy to keep a secret with, uh, with violence or with money or with blackmail or whatever. But like you, you could do it in like a... Uh like southwestern Africa, mm. you could do it underground. You can keep a secret anywhere. in like like east, uh, northwestern China. There are other places you can keep a secret too. Yeah, in dream space, in other dimensions, you can keep secrets there too. Mm. 